G'day you play legends, tonight we are out here photographing and I want to take you through some base settings on what to do when you first get to a location and want to take images of the stars. I'm even going to throw in a professional tip on how to speed up your workflow when you first get to a location. Let's get right into it, roll that intro. What is going on you good people? It is fantastic to see your smiling faces. Once again, we are out here pitch black, dark as dog's guts. We had a new moon two days ago, perfect night for photography. Stars are in plenty and I'm here to teach you how to photograph the stars for a basic setting. What to do when you first get to the location, how do you photograph the stars? But if you're new to this channel, I'm Matthew Storer, professional photographer from Australia, traveling the world, doing epic things, and we've just started a new series on how to photograph the night sky. So if that interests you, which I'm pretty sure it does because you're watching this vlog right now, make sure to drop below and subscribe for future content. But guys, we've got no time to waste. It's the middle of summer. We've got three hours of darkness tonight. Let's go over there and photograph how to photograph when you first get to a location. Radio, we are all set up trying to find a composition. We haven't found it yet, but we're trying to find the composition that we want to shoot. If you haven't watched last week's episode, I spoke a lot about spending time on location. So if you haven't watched that, don't stress quite. Let's just come up here on this card and watch last week's episode. But when I was here last week, there was a big ball of sun in the sky. It was so much easier to see around. But now she's dark as dog's guts. I can't see anything. So I took the photo from last week's episode. I've got it on my phone as a reference photo. But I've got the image, but I'm trying to find the image that I liked last week. So how am I going to do that? So before I talk about the base things to capture the, the stars that we're about to capture, I want to talk almost about, on, let's call them base, base settings. Pro tip, I want to give you a pro tip on how to speed up your workflow when coming out to photograph the stars. What I want to do is go to the max aperture. So if it's 2.8, f2, 1.4, for me, it's f2. I'm shooting the Samyang 12mm, beautiful lens for Fujifilm. The shutter speed, I want to talk about the shutter speed in a second, but for now, I want to take it to a five second shutter speed. There's a reason behind that, so don't stress. The ISO, I'd normally shoot around 6,400, but right now we're going to go up to the highest we possibly can. So for me, it's 51,200 or something. It's absolutely crazy. Introduce so much noise. There's a reason behind this. I'm going to set my shutter speed to five seconds, take an image, and try and find that composition. So it's going to speed up my workflow. It's going to make it so much quicker. Because normally, I'd shoot on a 20 second shutter speed. So I would take 20 seconds to take one image. But right now, it's taken me four images to find the composition from last week's episode. So you can see, five times four is 20 seconds. Previously, it'd be 20 seconds, 40 seconds, six seconds, and just keep going on. And if you don't get it right in five, 10 times, you're wasting a lot of time, and also you're wasting a lot of battery. Fujifilm sucks in the battery, so that's very important for me. That's a pro tip. Max aperture, around that five seconds, max out that ISO, she's good. ISO is good for you, find that composition. Now, when we've found the composition, we can muck around with artificial lighting, you know, getting the base settings found out, which we're about to find out right now. What base settings, 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 <laughs> what base settings should you go to when you first come out to try and capture those beautiful stars? All right, so now you know the base, base settings, that little pro tip I gave you to speed up your workflow on finding that composition. Bang, all the people around you will be spending time trying to find that composition, and you'll be absolutely Mickey Mouse. You'll be ahead of the game. But right now, I want to jump to base settings. So aperture, I want to keep to that f2, all right? We're going to start off at that f2, or that max aperture for you. Whether it's 3.5, 2 it doesn't matter. I always go to 6,400 ISO. This is where I start. So right now, on the 22nd of June, I think we are today, I've got a 4.2% moon, so hardly any moon. 
Once we get later inside this series, when we're shooting around that 40% moon, we can drop that ISO or maybe raise that aperture. A little bit more advanced, but we're going to get there, guys. Don't worry. Then my shutter speed, we worked out last week's episode. So remember, go back and watch last week's episode. I worked out shutter speed. So F2 for me, 20 seconds shutter speed, 6,400 ISO. We are shooting, I'm shooting with a, a, a pollution filter, but we're gonna get onto that later also. So make sure to subscribe. There's so much to learn about night photography, but I am gonna help you guys out, that is for sure. Light pollution filter, and we're locking down that white balance around 4,300. I might talk about that in another vlog also, because that's quite important. Lock down that. So I'm gonna set a two second timer. I'm gonna turn that light off, and I'm gonna capture a beautiful base image. Then we're gonna try and work out where we can go from there. All right, all right, not bad. The sky is beautiful, as you can see on the screen right now. The sky is beautiful, but I'm here photographing a hut. There's a beautiful old wooden hut in front of me, and I can't see any of it. We're gonna fix that, don't worry. I'm not gonna to explain to you exactly how we're gonna fix that, because we're gonna get into a little bit of artificial blending. We always carry a head torch around, and especially this has got a red light on it. This is the number one thing. You need a camera, you need a tripod, you need a lens, and you also need a head torch. This is so important for our safety, but we're gonna use this for a multi-feature. I'm gonna do some artificial blending in here. So I'm gonna capture some more images. I'm just gonna, you know, do the old color painting around here and get some artificial light painted into the foreground. This is gonna light the foreground up, give us that beautiful night sky that we just captured in that base image. Gonna blend it together, absolutely perfect. Guys, don't worry, this isn't difficult. And I'm gonna take you all through this, how to do it, all through this complete series for the end of October. I'm pumped. I hope you're bloody pumped because I love night photography. So I want to go around now, muck around with that. I'm going to keep the base settings also. 6,400 ISO, F2, and also that 20 second shutter speed. I'm going to muck around with that head torch, get a base image in camera and see what it looks like basically. And then I'm going to make some alterations from there. Alrighty, that was quite fun. That was bloody interesting actually. So it's really good because I've come out to a location that's quite difficult for me also because Bled, where I live to, is just in this direction here. I'm getting a little bit of light pollution. So I'm trying to muck around with light pollution, how to deal with it, especially because I'm stuck in Slovenia, like most people are stuck in their location right now. So I'm sort of working out how to deal with light pollution, but I want to take you through a few things right now. So I've, as you can see just before, I was light painting in. Now, let's talk about base settings before F2, 6,400 ISO in 20 seconds. I've left two elements out of three of that. What I've done with the light painting is because the head torch is quite bright, so this is not the best way to light paint, but because I recommend this as one of four essentials that we need in landscape photography or night photography even, I want to use this right now. I want to try and get into the habit of using this. So what I've done is because it's quite harsh and I've painted in, I've actually jumped up to F2.8. The reason I'm doing this is for a few reasons. Obviously, it's giving me a greater depth of field, but also it's getting rid of comma and vignetting. So this lens, I've used it for a long, long time, and I know it suffers from vignetting and comma in the corner. We're going to get into what that is a little bit more inside of you know, more advanced techniques, but basically it's going to get rid of some defects in the image that aren't good. That's the best way to describe it uh, for now, okay? So some negative effects from the lens shooting really wide open. And also, when I do that, it's obviously not letting as much light in because obviously the aperture blades are closing just that little bit more to give greater depth of field. And this is allowing me to obviously get rid of that, but because the head torch was quite bright, it allowed me to do that. So I kept the 6,400 ISO. I like the amount of noise in 6,400 ISO. That 20 seconds for the stars, obviously, and that 2.8 because of that uh, harsh light of the head torch. So I'm gonna show you the base image now and then blend it into the image that I've worked probably the last 15, 20 minutes to capture. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What would you change? But here is this beautiful image of the Milky Way, the beautiful heart, and the country that I love so much, Slovenia. Radio. There you have that image, a simple solution by just a little head torch, one of the four essentials that I think you need. 
So bloody simple. But guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Whilst you're down in the comments, also let me know what you'd love to see on this content, on this channel about night sky photography. But I must give you a little bit of a heads up. If you want to see some editing, I'm going to reject you straight away because my life just isn't going to plan right now with the accommodation. I'm going to explain on a completely separate vlog because tonight is all about happiness. But editing, unfortunately, won't be. But anything you want to see night sky related, this is the channel for you. Let me know in the comments below. Also in the description, please, if you want to help me out and support me, there's a night photography course there. Super cheap, four and a half hours of content. No pressure, but if you do, I appreciate all the support, the love, the effort. And as always, if you want to see this ugly face even more than you do right now, please make sure to drop below and subscribe. Give it a huge thumbs up if you like this. But guys, please let me know what you want to see in the comments below from this channel. That is me, done for tonight. I'm going to keep heading out because I am bloody stoked on tonight's conditions tonight's conditions so i'm going to keep recording some more vlogs for you beautiful people but for now that's me done ciao <music> guys thank you for watching if you love if you love blah, 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 it's late if you love this content please consider giving it a huge thumbs up if you really really like it and you want to see my